guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Shannon and I am the owner and founder of Here That Thrives and I'm a little quiet today because my family is still asleep. It is about 7.15, 7, 7.18 um, in the morning on Sunday, January 3rd. Happy New Year, happy 2021. Um, if you're watching this, then you have been uh, blessed enough to see another year. Um, I am going to be doing my videos um, a little bit different than what I have been doing my previous, I think, five or six videos, five videos. Um, because I feel like God is leading me to do something different. My first intent on my channel was to be a channel to educate women about hair, and I'm still gonna do that. That's one of my main things, but um, it was a business channel for my company hair that thrives and teaching women um, how to help their hair thrive. Um, uh, and helping them select products and things like that. I am going to still teach women how to uh, help their hair to thrive. However, I'm not going to do it so much in a structured um, way and in more like a business way. I'm going to just do it showing you what I do day to day. And um, that means that uh, you'll see my hair looking crazy sometimes. I'm actually about to work out um, right when I get done doing this little video and I'm going to work out. I'm going to eat my breakfast and I'm just going to go about my day. I have to go to work today and um, just relax and chill around the house with my family. And um, but yeah, uh, I lost my so a little bit of background history. I lost my mom the beginning of last year, 2020. And she was one of my best friends she helped to watch my daughter um, from the time she was born from the time she was three months old she uh, her and my dad were pretty much like her main caregivers there's nothing mentally emotionally or physically wrong with my daughter but um, my my mom and dad were just like normal any other normal grandparents while my husband and I went to work um, my mom and dad would watch her and um, so this is going to be pretty much like a video diary of me coping with the loss of my mom and um, uh, just trying to be a better person. And I really feel like God is telling me that I have a huge purpose in life and to fulfill this huge purpose, I need to be better. I'm, I'm, I need to eat healthier. I need to pray more. I need to um, seek him more and um, just something bigger, something different. And so um, with that, um, all of that will affect my hair, the way I eat, the way I pray, the way I exercise, the way I deal with stress in my life the way I cope with um, the loss of my mom, all of those things will help or hinder my hair growth. Um, good in gives you good out. And so you will see um, just how my hair progresses throughout this year or however long I wanna do these little video diaries. Um, I feel like, uh, People show the end. I'm keep looking down because I have a timer here. I don't want to talk too long, but I feel like people show a lot of times the end product of what they are doing or how they became successful. Or um, very few people show the whole middle process, the beginning, the middle, and the end. And a lot of times that helps people. I know I like to see the beginning, middle, and end of a lot of things when people are going through a journey, whether it's weight loss, whether it's with your hair, whether it's financial, whether it's spiritual, whatever journey they are on, I love to see where they started from. And I like to look at other videos and see how they got there. And of course, I love to see the, the successes. 
And so this is just me, um, my beginning. Um, like I said, it's Sunday, January 3rd, 2021. And um, I'm just gonna see where this takes me, um, what God does with me in the next year. So um, a part of that with my hair, um, I will educate I'm in school to become a trichologist. That's a paramedical profession um, where I'm learning everything about hair. And I love, love, love to teach um, women with curly hair. Um, a lot of times it's the black and brown women, but I love to teach women about their hair. And I love to talk about hair. If you know me, you know I love to talk about hair. And um, so, as I learn things in trichology um, and research things on my own, I will definitely uh, tell you what I've learned and apply it to my own hair journey. Um, my hair, right now, my hair is at a point where I cut it off almost two years ago, um, and I'll insert a little clip or a little picture somewhere. So you can see where my hair started almost two years ago and where it is now. Um, my hair is at a point where I, where it's at a length where I'm getting more single strand knots and a little bit more tangles on the end. I probably do need to cut a lot of it off, um, but I don't want to yet for whatever reason, I just don't want to. Um, but I'm trying to figure out what I need to do to avoid it being so tangly at the end and have the single strand knots. I moisturize my hair pretty consistently, um, a few days a week, and I wash my hair consistently once a week. I condition, deep condition, so I know all of that. Um, so um, I think the next step with the length of my hair is to have it in a stretch state. Um, you'll see another one of my videos where I talk about how I have my hair in twists all the time. And I typically do, once I wash my hair and condition it, I'll put it in twists, excuse me, I'll put it in twists and just go about my day or my week. Um, but even when I had it in twist, just letting it dry, it was I would still have a lot of single strand knots and it would still get tingly. So I'm trying to figure out ways um, I know with curly hair, uh, my hair in the back is a L or a Z pattern, um, or what a lot of people would say is 4A, 4B, 4C. Um, I don't go by that um, way to uh, categorize my curl pattern, so I just say L or Z, but my hair type is about L or Z. My, my, my curl pattern is about an L or Z in the back. And up in the front right here is a lot of loose S and O's. And I'll talk about um, what I mean by L, O, I, and S and Z's in other videos. But um, so with that type of curl, um, it's best to keep your hair stretched. I don't wanna stretch it with heat. Um, so I'm trying to figure out a way right now to just keep my hair stretched. And this is actually the result of me washing my hair a few days ago with the Caladium shampoo um, and deep conditioning it. And I had my hair in Bantu knots just so that I could uh, try out stretching it with heat. I did the back quadrant right here. Did not like that at all. Didn't like that at all. So the other three quad quadrants, the two front and one back, I um, stretched it out with Bantu knots and I took it to my Bantu knots out last night and I was just going to put it in some twist and that is the result of what you see right here. I don't think I like it. So what I'm gonna try and do once I get done exercising this morning, I'm gonna stretch a little bit and do, I'm really getting into African dance right now. Um, I used to do African dance a lot when I was younger but um, so I'm going to um, do African dance as my exercise for this morning, do some stretching, and um, like I said, eat, some, eat, eat a little bit of breakfast. And I'm excited because in a few days, I'm supposed to be having a juicer come here. Um, I ordered a juicer on Christmas, and I'm excited about juicing a lot of stuff. Again, that goes into 
um, God telling me for so many months that he needs me to be at my optimal level um, physically to be able to do a lot of things that he needs me to do. So um, I'm just trying to intake a lot more fruits and vegetables in my diet, exercise obviously, um, waking up feeling good, and just having some some me time, some Shannon time. Um, but back to my hair. So I am going to uh, not wash my hair, but probably just wet it up, maybe put some conditioner on it after I exercise and things like that. And I think I'm going to twist it up in maybe three sections per quadrant and um, just put some hair ties on. I'm gonna band it. Um, put hair ties on it to stretch it out to elongate my hair and let it dry for today that way. Going to work, I'm gonna have to make it look kind of presentable and see what it looks like tomorrow morning um, and go from there. But um, if you don't know, hair grows at an average of 0.5 inches a month and my goal is to retain every single last one of those inches by the end of the year, December of 2021. Um, so again, a lot of that goes into me eating right, me exercising, and me um, managing my stress and being consistent and things like that. So um, I had a mantra uh, or um, a saying that I used with my business. Um, my business again is Hair That Thrives and the saying was, uh, let me help you or, or ask me how I can help you have epic hair and epic stood for um, education, product selection, implementation, and consistency. And uh, recently, when I was praying, I felt like God told me he wanted me to rearrange the letters in EPIC. Um, and so instead of it being E-P-I-C, it is now P-E-I-C. And I don't know if I'll have that to say PEIC or PEC or I'm not sure yet, but P standing for prayer, pray about everything and worry about nothing, first of all. Um, e, education, still. Um, I, implementation, and C, remaining consistent in a lot of things that I try and do, whether it's exercising, eating right, praying, or meditation, or things like that, or trying to be a better wife, be a better mom. Um, but that is what I am going to go into 2021 with. And actually, um, my church is on an audacious um, theme for the year. And um, to uh, have the audacity to um, believe in new things, take new risks, to believe bold things. And so, You'll see me a lot of times too wearing this little bracelet, um, Audacious 2021. And that is uh, the theme for my church where I work uh, this year. So this was a longer video than what I had planned it to be. But um, on these videos, I'll just come in and talk for a little bit um, to you guys and a lot to myself because this is something that will probably help me cope with my mom. Um, talk to you guys a little bit about what I will be recording for that day or even the week. I may not have, I probably won't have a consistent upload schedule. Um, that was one of the things that I tried to do with my business and it just kind of got away from me. Um, it just became too much for me to do. And so, um, I may upload one video a week. I may be in the mood to upload two or three or four. Just kind of depends. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how I help my hair to thrive with different things in my life, with praying first and foremost, um, praying about everything and trying to be consistent with that, um, educating myself on what I need to educate myself on, whether it's the way I eat, the way I exercise, um, maybe stress management, um, whether it's even things with finances home budget, um, being a better mom, wife, whatever I need to edu educate myself on, 
um, implementing what I have learned into my life and being consistent. So um, I hope you guys will join me for this ride and see what 2021 brings everybody. Bye. Oh, um, in the remaining of this video, I'll just have a few clips of me exercising, like I said in the morning, doing my stretching, exercising, um, what I eat, I'll show you my hair, and just, that's it. Bye.